Hey, what's going on, gang? Good afternoon. Howdy! You feeling good? I'm feeling good. I'm brushed. I'm flossed. I'm ready. Ready to enter you. Good? Yeah, I think so. Our words into their ears, right? That's oh. what I mean, Bill. Okay, gross. Bill, that's what I mean. Right. Hey, Bill Squire's right there. Say hi to him. Hey, creepy hugs. I'm all, I, I'm freshly shorn. I just got a Are haircut. Are you really? Yeah, okay. Oh, the top, not your beard. Oh, you're my beard, my beard's really? much trimmed up. Oh, okay. Yeah. It looks good. Long. Thank you, Mary. Well, there you go. Better. All right. Nice. Now, is this, are you inching toward acquiescing to your girl's Halloween costume request? No. Or you're not no. incrementally getting no, yourself no, down no. to a bear face. No, but I have a different thing that I'm going to be doing, so I might have to do the bear face anyway. So oh. They're going to kind of a, uh, like a show, because Halloween's on... A Thursday this year, and I run that show High and Dry, and so we're going to do a comedy show that night where all the comics do, like, a play on a different, like, a, you know, famous comic. I is, it, is it is it um, costume optional? For the audience, yes. Yeah. But for the comedians, are like, one of my friends, uh, he's going to be Bernie Macklemore, <laughs> and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> right. Well, had the DJ ready for when yeah. he's up there. All right. Yeah. Hey, please welcome Mary Santora back to the program. What up? Uh, she is um, a Cleveland's favorite female comedian, although she told everybody who voted for her, suck it, I'm moving to New York. And yep. so that's precisely what she did. Middle and, finger um, to the sky, baby. She double deuces. See ya. And she was under the weather yesterday. Yeah. And um, I have to assume um, lady stuff. And no. listen, we can all... <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh <laughs> No, not yet. Anyway, we'll yeah, not there. yet. That's all right. Did you see how upset people are? I immediately thought of Mary, even though I don't even know if she takes part in this. I saw how incensed people were that in the spring, April of next year, they're raising the price of the Mega Millions ticket by 150%. A so Mega Millions. To $2 to $3. To $5. 150%. Is my math right on that? $2 to $5 would be, be 100 No, you're right. I'm not, I can't math today. That's okay. I can never math, so I'm accidentally getting this right. Um, it's going to raise from $2 to $5 coming in the spring, and of course oh, people wow. are That's, mad about yeah. just beside themselves. That's a huge jump. That is a huge jump. Because people play every day. But that's how they, they know they got gotcha. you. Yeah. You know, they always do these, you think back to uh, cigarettes. People would always say that it was the price that would finally get them off cigarettes. Of course, that never happened. I don't even know what cigarettes cost now, but I seem to remember when I moved back to Chicago in 06, and I know things are more expensive based on where you live. Mary can tell you this. Um, but I remember this when can't I, be right. When I moved back in 06, a pack of cigarettes in the city of Chicago was like $11. This says it's fourteen sixty For a pack of, of cigarettes? As of September 1st. And this is what People I'm saying. are paying 15 bucks for a pack of cigarettes? It's hard mm -hmm. to quit smoking. That's the thing, is it's like people go, man. I mean, I remember when I was in high school, and I was literally the only one of my friends who didn't smoke. All of my siblings smoke. My parents both smoked. They had both quit by the time I was born. But both of my parents smoked. All of my siblings still smoke. I'm the only one who doesn't. And I just remember in high school, people were like, man, when cigarettes get more than 4 bucks a pack, I'm quitting. $14 a pack now. And so, to me, it's the same thing with the lottery, because they did this big survey in Ohio on the heels of this story, and they go, 80% of lottery players in Ohio said they would stop playing if tickets became $5, but they won't. They won't, because they know they got you. They know they got you. And I know that they were, for, and, and again, cigarettes, you can make the case for, after a while, your body thinks that you do need them, Right. Lottery, you don't have to play the lottery. I mean, I know they refer to it as a regressive tax, and it uh, targets the people with the least amount of disposable income to spend, and there can be numerous arguments about that. However, you don't need to play the lottery. It's not something you need. So I'm here curious to see again. what it'll happen. What? I said, here we go again. What do you mean? There are people who are addicted to gambling that do feel that they need to play the lottery. Fine. I'm just saying that, I mean, I bet it's not going to. I'm, I'm sure that there are some of those people who said when tickets become 5 bucks. Uh, I'm not going to buy them anymore. 
But maybe they will see if this could be them dipping their toe in the water. You know, they come next summer after they have a couple of months of fewer and fewer people playing the lottery. Who knows? Um, But the next Mega Millions jackpot drawing is tonight, and nobody won. So it's $800 million. I'm wondering if the thought behind this, obviously they want more money, but are they going to increase payouts too? Like it'll get to a billion faster or do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I I do get what you're saying. Because if it's getting to a billion faster, that's when they see a huge influx of people buying tickets. So I think that is probably the idea behind it is because as soon as it gets into this range where it's at like 800 million or close to a billion and everybody's like, well, I'd be dumb not to buy a ticket. Right. <laughs> and I'm I say that as someone that money. bought a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Powerball, which is Mega Millions' big competitor, they could end up, you know, coming out on top if they keep charging the same amount or, or whatever it is. But uh, if you play the Mega Millions, you have until April to be getting those $2 tickets. So you've got some time to wrestle with yourself. Well, everybody that has that addiction it's like well i'll win it by then so it won't even matter you know it's not even gonna affect me because <laughs> i will be a multi-millionaire by then um yeah so the mega millions jackpot the next drawing is tonight i don't know when that is it just says tuesday september the 10th it's usually at like 11 sometimes oh is that when they do it i didn't it's know if late. they did like a yeah. 6 p.m news no. and no. 11 o'clock news okay that's the local lottery does that i see oh like they don't seven. this is a national thing that they do for yeah, I think, it? it's, I think it's close to midnight. Powerball, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Mega Millions, Tuesday and Friday at 11 p.m. There it yeah. is. Okay. okay. Your chances of winning with the $2 ticket are one in 300, two, and one half million. I'm wondering if, that'll cha- if they'll change the odds with it being a higher price. I don't know. I don't know about Cause that. Because they set that. You Didn't know say I mean? anything about that, yeah. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. But... Uh, people love to play the lottery everywhere you go. I'm not immune to it, you know. I mean, I got to be uh, half in the bag to stumble into a place and buy a lottery ticket. But, um, you know, that happens with, with some frequency. I don't think I've bought a Powerball ticket since we were in New Jersey, and that was a while ago. But I'm going to be back in Jersey uh, end of October for a wedding. So maybe my triumphant return to the Garden State will necessitate me buying a Powerball ticket. In you know. which case, if I win, you know, because these Powerballs now, they're like one point, you know, two, $2 billion dollars worth, I'm going to buy the Jersey Shore. Wow. Who's with me? I'm going to buy the entirety. I'll Ooh. come with you. I mean, it certainly looks like a, it's a growth industry. I think boardwalks on the eastern seaboard. How could anything go wrong there? But um, anyway, I thought of Mary Santora, our resident merrymaker, mm-hmm. our resident chance taker. It's me. Our resident heartbreaker. Oh, so many things. Uh-huh. So many things. So in April, they will raise that ticket price from 2 to $5. Um, and they are going to terminate their dollar add-on mega plier, if you know what, what that is. That's what they're saying. It'll be, the mega plier is what, it multiplies all your winnings by however much amount. So they're saying that would automatically be included. The, in the odds or something? I don't know. I'm reading an article about it online. It's all very confusing. Okay. I mean, I have a mega plier at home, but it's a, a DeWalt makes it, Bill. It's when I, there's giant nuts that I just can't move. Yeah. Properly. I'm doing some manly stuff, mm-hmm. and I just have giant nuts. Mm-hmm. And I, I break out my mega plier. And get those nuts a moving. Well, I have to take a half a second. I close my eyes. I put my index finger to my temple, and I go righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then I get working on it. Unless it's a reverse thread, and then it's... <laughs> yeah. Well, then I can't... Lefty, you, tidy, righty, loosey, you, and that's... Uh, uh, you know I can't use the mega plier yeah. on the reverse threads. I, I have to get another uh, implement for I, that. I fixed uh, my girlfriend's toilet. Yeah. Like, the little handle thing broke. Did you install the bidet? No, no, no not oh, yet, okay. but I do need to do that. But uh, I, I just fixed the uh, the flusher. The plunger? It wasn't even the plunger. It was just, like, the, the literally the handle... It, she had a plastic one and it just mm-hmm. snapped off. So I replaced that. So I had to do the old reverse thread. Yeah. Yeah. All taken care of. And it was all stripped, too, so then I ended up just breaking it off. But <laughs> it's all fixed now. Okay, well. It's all good now. However you get there, you got yeah. there. i got to take a break here. If you want to send me a text, 